your bite-sized daily roundup of the biggest news from the world of film. This is The Daily Reel with Van Connor. Good morning. It's Monday the 14th of June. It's 25 years of the day since The Cable Guy was released, 19 years since The Bourne Identity opened, 8 years of the day since the DCEU launched with Man of Steel, and it was 2 years ago today that The Dead Don't Die and Men in Black International hit cinemas. It's birthday to Juno writer Diablo Cody, Spy Kids Junie Daryl Sabara, the legendary Will Patton, and the only president ever to be impeached twice once for incitement of insurrection against the United States government, Donald Trump, and it's the day all of this is going on. Director of the Lego Batman movie, Chris McKay has given an update on his announced live-action DC Comics movie, Nightwing. The character is one of the most long-standing and popular in the DC canon, the grown-up alter ego of the original Robin. Dick Grayson is a gymnastic vigilante who wields escrima sticks and protects Gotham's fictional neighboring city, Bloodhaven. In a recent interview, Mackay assured fans that the project hadn't gone the way of James Wan's The Trench or Ava DuVernay's The New Gods and been cancelled. Whilst not an active development, it has supposedly been kept on the back burner as a future project. Said Mackay, I hope that we still get to make that movie. As far as I'm concerned, Concerned, it's not lost yet. Warner Brothers has other priorities, they've had other challenges. I think their recent successes and the stuff they're planning on doing now, I think it opens the door for us to still be able to do a Nightwing movie. Continuing on, the director pointed to how the recent, more relaxed attitude to continuity at the studio has played into that optimism. Whether you call it in an alternate universe, or you pick in their multiverse which universe it's part of, there are different ways into it now. The character currently appears on the HBO Max series Titans, a gritty reimagining of Teen Titans in which he's played by Brenton Thwaites. Meanwhile, Chris McKay's next project, the Chris Pratt-fronted sci-fi romp The Tomorrow War, will release exclusively on Amazon Prime Video on July 23rd. So jazzed to meet you, sir. I'm sorry, did you say jazzed? Yes! My name's Richard Grayson, but all the kids at the orphanage call me Dick. Well, children can be cruel. Yeah. Former child actor Brian Falduto played the sassy, queer-coded fashionista Billy Fancy Pants in 2003's cult hit School of Rock, has opened up about the difficulties the role gave him in coming to terms with his sexuality. The actor memorably played the band's stylist in Richard Linklater's musical comedy, but has admitted that the part took its toll in the long run. As Falduto put it whilst on the Cooper and Anthony podcast, I was in so much denial. I was in the fifth grade when this movie came out and I was called gay. And then someone told me that's not cool. So I was just like, oh, okay, then I'm not gay. I was denying it before I even had a notion of what it was, Falduto told the duo. So by the time I realized I was potentially gay, I was already homophobic towards myself. Falduto, who now lives as a musician, filmmaker, and life coach, has stated that he's since come to terms with his sexuality and thanks School of Rock star Jack Black for his support over the years, calling him, quote, an awesome, awesome human. Billy. You. Billy, we've already told me off. Let's move on. You're tacky and I hate you. Okay, you see me after class. And finally, former 80s pinup and EE mascot Kevin Bacon has signed on to play the antagonist in Legendary's Toxic Avenger reboot. Writer-director Macon Blair is helming the project, which will see Peter Dinklage take on the role of the eponymous grotesque hero. The 1984 trauma original followed an ordinary put-upon dork who's pushed into a vat of toxic waste by bullies. The attack transforms him and he soon's become an avenging superhero who, well, who looks Looks like he was pushed into a vat of acid, frankly, with melted skin and distorted features. Jacob Tremblay and Taylor Page are both also on board to star, and Bacon's villain has been described as slick and over the top. No release date's been provided for the Toxic Avenger, but filming's expected to commence later this year. Ooh, I love it. Is that your new outfit? On DVD and Blu-ray from today, you can pick up Adam Wingard's Kaiju Throwdown Romp, Godzilla vs. Kong, Ruby Rose action at SAS Red Notice, and the acclaimed Kate Winslet drama Ammonite. While movie subscribers can stream Carla Simone's Correspondence and Shudder's Getting Monstrous and The Retreat. You can see the first Jack Reacher on ITV4 tonight, The Monuments Men and Kingsman the Secret Service are showing on Film 4, Air Force One's on Channel 5, The Paramount Network is showing the 2018 remake of Papillon, the Tina Turner biopic What's Love Got To Do With It's on 5 Star, great movies are showing The Little Vampire, The Karate Kid Part 2, The Counselor and The Box, and on the Horror Channel you can see Last Shift and Triangle, while the Sky Cinema and now premiere for today is the alien invasion thriller Captive State. 
That was The Daily Reel for Monday, June 11th. Keep it cinematic, but we'll see you again tomorrow. The Daily Reel is a Candy Saw production presented by Van Connor and written by Calvin Prickett. All information is correct at the time of writing and source links are in the description for each episode. Don't forget to rate, review and subscribe on all good podcast platforms or ask Alexa to install the Daily Reel skill for your morning flash briefing. Follow the show on social at Daily Reel Pod and we'll be back every weekday. Until then, keep it cinematic. Cinematic.